Hey guys, so we are done with 2023 and now we are stepping into 2024. Now before we start our new year, we have to make sure that we review our 2023. It's very important, you know, so many times we just skip that because we don't feel the previous year was important. But yes, it is important and it's best to review the year before you enter into the next year just to have a sense of achievement the motivation for the next year hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if you are new here hi my name is smita and you're watching my channel living in bangalore now if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please hit on the subscribe button below and bell icon right next to it so that whenever i upload a video you get notified and with this we will dive right into today's video where we are going to learn about why and how we are going to review our 2023 and is it important to review 2023 so let's get started today we will understand why we have to review our previous year why and how we need to review our previous year if you've seen my previous videos on 2023 planning every month i have left a page for the happy moments of 2023 and there is a review so you can just go through your review on how you have done for the whole year so the first step is reflection for the year 2023 so basically if you have seen what are your challenges your achievements and how you have grown from the past one year that's very important so just to have a sense of reflection is a good way to start a review for your previous year the second point being the happy moments the memorable moments that you have had for the last year because that gives you a sense of motivation to go forward for the next year even though you're sad or things don't happen the way you want it you still have those happy moments that you've gone through the whole year and you really feel happy about the third point being the lessons that you have learned you know we learn so many lessons every day so i'm sure previous year also you must have learned a lot of lessons and that is where you have to keep that in mind. What are the lessons that you have learned? The mo most important ones, you can just write it down or jot it down in your plan. The fourth is after you see all this, the reflection and the memorable moments, the achievements that you have had. It's very important to set a positive intention before you start your new year. The minute you set your positive intentions for your next year, you will really feel good about it. So try it out. And the fifth one is you basically review your 2023 because you feel a sense of achievement. However hard that year has gone, I'm sure there'll be even the smallest of the achievements that have made you very happy. So if you have reflected upon every month, I'm sure you will have a lot of achievements. But if you haven't, if you just reflect and just think about it, I'm sure there will be a lot of achievements and that will motivate you to start your next year. So before we go and start the 2024 planner, we first reflect on how our year has gone for the 2023. Keep all the points in mind and then we reflect and review our 2024. Now in my planner, if you open, you will have all this. We keep it for the setup of 2024. And then we have the reflection for the year 2023. So basically here we have my year of 2023 and then we have best moments. That's very important to keep you motivated. These are the five best moments for the year 2023, which actually keeps you very motivated to have a positive intention for the next year. Then we have things I learned for 2023. So if you reflect upon your whole year, I'm sure you will get some things that you can write here that you have learned in the year of 2023. And then you have something called as performance review. Here for the performance review, there are five areas that you need to write down. So first one is the personal front. Personal as in what have you felt personally? How have you been for the whole year? So that's personal. So you will give a rating here on how you are now current state and you will write how will you improve here down. So this space is given to write how can you improve yourself. The next is health. You can rate yourself how good are you health wise out of five. You can give three, four depending on how your health is currently and how can you improve your health, exercise, eat healthy. It can be any. Next is work front. So how have you been in your work front and how you're going to improve it? Relationship is also the same thing. How you've been all the whole year and how you're going to improve it? And then the finance part, how are you handling your finances? So how are you handling money basically? So this is like a performance review for you. So with this, we just set up our start with reviewing our 2023. So after this, now we will dive right into reviewing our 2023. If you have your planners of 2024 with you, please keep it ready and you can start reviewing your year. 
Uh, if you don't want this method, you can use any other method. If your planner doesn't have this, probably you can stick to pages in your planner. So I'm not telling, you know, follow my planner. But if you have any other planner, you can just have a generalized review for your year 2024 and you can write down your review you can do your own artwork there be a little creative be a little make it you know more aesthetic and you can write your own review for the year short review for the year 2024 so let's get started with this we are having an exclusive planner giveaway and we are thrilled to help you organize and conquer the upcoming year with our beautifully designed eva aura mia planner 2024 now, two lucky winners will each receive our stunning planner 2024 to make your year ahead more organized, productive and fabulous. Now, the giveaway rules are very simple. Subscribe to my channel Living in Bangalore. Like this video and write one goal for the year 2024 in the comment section below. Winners will be announced on 24th December for which you need to have an Indian shipping address. So, the last date for the entry is on or before 23rd December. Please make sure to check all the details and rules in the description box below. So coming to the review of 2023, you basically see how have you done for the year. So I would like to go through my goals that I had set for the year 2023. Exercise every day, stay fit, meditate. I mean, okay, like not, not exactly the way I wanted, but I think I am there somewhere. <laughs> Execute my business plan has worked well. I have done good. That's what I feel. And yeah, I have come up with my business and I have started it going good right now. If you have already seen my videos, then this business is nothing but I have launched my own planner for the year 2024. So if you haven't checked it out, please do check out. I will put all the links in the description box below from where you can buy it. I've put the Amazon link as well. Work-life balance, especially with kids. Yes, compared to last year, a lot of improvement because last year it was a challenge with a small baby in my hands. And this time she is a little more independent. So my top three goals have been achieved for this year. Mini goals, YouTube was 1000 subscribers. Uh, yeah, I have reached quite a lot and thanks to you all. That means so much to me. I'm already reaching 500 subscribers and that's like a big stepping stone, a milestone that I have achieved and I'm happy. So complete planner design. I have done this. Okay, I had just given up on the Etsy. I, I haven't put anything up on Etsy and I've just totally given up. I've like totally given up. Read 12 books. I think I have read around three to four books this time. I was so busy with creating the website and so many other things that didn't do much with the reading part because that is the time like evenings when I used to read I've taken the time in creating my business the plan and the execution so overall for this year I have I feel I've done good now the letter for you from you of course I will not be reading it here I did write a letter I have written a letter here which I am supposed to open on 1-1-2024. Let me see. I don't remember what I've written. I will open on the 1st of Jan. Coming to my vision board, I am really happy. Like most of my things have gone well. Very happy with what I have done. A few more things in my vision board will continue for next year. The thousand subscribers for YouTube, I have to continue. I think this time some more will get added here in the vision board. Let's see in the setup. I hope you stay tuned and check out my setup video as well. And then yes, every month we have written a review. If you have seen, I would like to go through it every month just to make sure how have I been for the last one month. So take a moment, take around say 15, 20 minutes or half an hour to just go through what have you been through this whole year. Read your happy moments, read your review. So you will get an idea on how your months have been and how things have been with you. Now in the Alicia Souza planner, we have the highlights of the year all this i haven't filled up few things i filled up and few not filled up so highlights of the year you have one page here in my planner that's the 2024 planner i do have the review here my year of 2023 five best moments things i learned in 2023 and a review for every area like perf personal health work relationship finance and anything else i want to rate 
of my own so i have two pages given up here for your review of 2023 so make sure you fill it up before you start setting up your year for 2024 so with this we will just get to writing of the highlights of my year so with this i'm done with the highlights of the year 2023 and in case i need to add something i will be adding your books i have read i haven't filled up but i'm sure after some time i will just make sure that i fill this up and yeah i think this comes to the end of this planner but in the month of jan when we are setting up or when we are planning for the month of jan we will go through again the happy moments and the reviews we will write this down and then start our planning for the month of jan but for now we'll keep it empty till the end of december so the next one is we are going to start with my planner that's the review or you can say my year of 2023 how has it been five best moments of 2023 and the performance on how i am standing today how is it going so i will write it down here and how i need to improve i'm going to write below that so i have written the five best moments of 2023 i've used one line per the moment but you can still have given extra two lines in case you want to continue a few things for two lines then you can still do it next is things that i learned in 2023 maybe the things that you learned the hard way the challenges that you have faced and you've learned something out of it so so a few things that i learned for 2023 now coming to this part where i will be rating myself on the key areas of my life and how i can improve so performance review rate your current self and write down what you would you like to change for the coming year So here I have just given you a gist on how you can use my planner. So my year of 2023, we have done the five best moments of 2023, things that I have learned this year, and I have also written down a perf performance review, like you know, how have I done in the last year, or how am I, what am I currently standing at, and how I am going to improve for the next year. So this is all about my year for 2023. So the next video will be. on the setup of 2023 where i will be setting up with vision board goals let me know in the comment section if you want anything specific with respect to the planner setup this planner is available on amazon so make sure that you check it out i'll put the links in the description box below the 2024 planner so make sure to check it out and you can order it from amazon at the earliest before you start your 2024 it is just for rupees 999 so make sure to order yours very soon it has got a lot of features lot of things you have time blocking as well where you can jot down your tasks you have enough space a lot of space to write all your tasks down here make sure that you order your soon before we run out of stock with this we come to an end of the review for 2023 i hope you like this video and if you haven't subscribed please hit on that subscribe button below and if you have liked this video hit the thumbs up icon i hope you like today's video so i'll see you super soon in another video thank you bye bye guys